and welcome to C++ tutorial of arrays and vectors of pointers. Let me start by clicking on create new project. I'm going to select console application, click on next. Now we select C++, click on next. Let's give that the name. I'm just going to call it array vector then I'm going to end it with pointers there we go click on next and finish and drop down the source file there and double click on main first of all you see when you have a sequence of pointers you can always place them into an array and that is what I want to try and achieve now so first off I'm going to start by importing the following so let's enter that in there and I'm going to import IO man IP there we go and the next thing is I'm going to import the standard library let's say C standard library and finally I'm also going to import time so we we'll go for C time there those are the libraries required now the next thing we want to do is to come right down here inside the main and I'm going to just get rid of that and enter S run. Then let's call the time. And the time we're starting with is zero. Now I'm also going to enter a pointer there. So let's say calculate or well, let's say counts zero. So that is pointing to the address. Now the next thing I want to do is to allocate the rows, and I will use a loop to do that. So for int i equals zero, enter a comma there, i less than and equals to ten. You can change that to maybe twenty i plus plus and let's come down here enter a curly braces and right inside my curly braces i'm now going to initialize the triangular array by saying let's say count i that would be equals to new and i'm just going to say i plus one there enter semicolon there and I will also use another for loop the for int j that is equals zero then we say j less than and equals to i then we say j plus plus and let's enter coily braces now inside the coily braces i'm just going to grab hold of the counter there so let's say count that is going to take in the array i and that of j there we go and let's say equals zero and a point for you guys to note here is that uh, the very first element of this uh, count actually contains a pointer to the array and the second element contains a pointer to the array of j okay, in here there should be an equal sign and this should be counts with an s right else there would be an error okay so 
this very look that you guys are looking at we print all the element inside the row that's the whole idea for that so underneath here let's now enter as follows i just want to say okay let's create a constant here constant int and i'm going to just call that let's say runs and runs that will be equals 1000 there now we now want to simulate the 1000 let's assume we have 1000 balls in there we want to simulate that by using an array so let's add by using a loop i'm going to just copy that loop and change it around come right down here paste that there and here i'm just going to call it run so let's say we have a run there and we have another no let's use lowercase run then we have run here again and here again uh, okay now the run here can be let's use that for runs okay right inside the loop I'm now going to add a ball let's copy this paste that in there okay it's more or less like I'm adding a ball in there the ball that we drop down and let's say plus plus enter semicolon now that the ball is added I'm going to declare let's create an integer here int j and this j will be equals to it initialize it with zero so I'm now going to use this j to have the ball to run down to the bottom of the let's say to the bottom okay so let's use a for loop for that and paste that in here okay now in this very for loop i'm going to enter my condition there so i'm going to, first of all i will also declare another integer that i'm going to call r and in this case i'm just going to say r equals run okay so and run that will be taking the following parentheses and let's enter two in there right now so if r is even let it move down otherwise let it move to the right so that's what i want to achieve now by using an if statement if r equals equals one okay. and i want the content to to be j plus plus right let's increase this so that you guys can see it and right underneath here i'm going to now say count plus plus okay let's grab those array pairs down in here and let's just say plus plus there okay so we are almost there now the next thing i want to do is to print out the counts and to do that i'm going to use a for loop again let's come right down here paste that there all right and I'm also going to get this. Let's copy this as well. Let's copy all of this. That would be more or less like a nested for loop. Paste that in here. And let's enter a statement in here. So I'm going to ask it to print. Let's say C out. And set w let's say that's going to be 4 4 and count let's grab hold of the 
array the count is actually pointing to where those ones are and then underneath here I'm now going to say let's just say C out end end line there okay and finally I'll just ask it to deallocate the rows so grab this and right underneath here paste that here paste okay and uh, in there I'm just going to ask it to delete pounds and that is going to be I and that is all there is to it okay let's compile and try it out so click on build and run there oh look at that it's working fine look at that guys so that is how you use your arrays and vector of a pointer in C++ so I'm going to run that one more time and that and click on run the value might change now there we go so it's like you drop a ball in a bottle and the ball kind of like make its way to either go to towards the left or towards the right and that's how you use a array and vector of points in C++ so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel bye for now